still really cool though. Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in our hometown of Nashville, Tennessee, where we ate the famous Nashville hot chicken, spent an evening with hit songwriters at the listening room, and enjoyed the amazing nightlife of Lower Broadway. This week, we're in the Tar Heel State. <laughs> In North Carolina. Carolina. Known for its beaches and mountains and for being the location of the Wright Brothers' famous first flight. And today we're in the western part of the state exploring the eclectic and artistic city of Asheville here in the Appalachian Mountains and we can't wait to show you this slice of heaven. If you'd like a free printable of our 24-hour itinerary and more details on exploring Asheville, check out our blog. The link is in the description. But right now we are hungry so we're gonna go get some breakfast to get the day started. delicious though. So I got the filthy animal which is a fried chicken biscuit sandwich topped with bacon, cheddar, pimento cheese, and gravy and it looks amazing. And I am basic and <laughs> got a biscuit sandwich with a chai latte. That is very rich, delicious, heavy. How I'm gonna finish it. Guys, this chai latte looks so good. Ooh! So I wish Matt would have told me, but they're really known for their jams and jellies. <laughs> and I would have just gotten a biscuit because now I have six <laughs> jams to try. I'm really excited about this. We just finished breakfast and it was really awesome. Yes, I am very stuffed and there's a tractor going on the road right now. Like a legit tractor. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to North Carolina. But yes, breakfast was amazing. That biscuit sandwich that I got was he ate massive, the whole thing. And somehow I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Natalie kind of was judgmental towards me. I it. was I said, I said, I'm stuffed after I finished. She said, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That was very judgy. Yeah. The jams and jellies were to die for. Mm -hmm. And there are multiple Biscuit Head locations around Asheville. We came to the West Asheville one. West Asheville is filled with boutique shops, vintage shops, record shops. Bakeries. Yeah. It's yeah. Tons of local owned and operated places. So we're going to go explore it. just left Provisions, which is a modern day mercantile. A, everything that they had in there I wanted to buy. But the best part, we were talking yep. to Heather and Kay, and it's a sense of community that mm -hmm. they have. It's a gathering place. They've got a little coffee yeah. bar in there, which is serving coffee that's roasted out of Charlotte, actually. Pure so it's another North Carolina yeah, called Pure Intentions. Yeah, they've got a little lounge area to drink your coffee, hang out. They were super kind. So awesome. We loved it. You guys have to come and check them out if you're here in West Asheville. Okay, so now, where are we going? We're gonna go downtown. We're gonna go downtown. Okay, cool. So we're about to start the Asheville Urban Trail, 1.7 miles long, and it kind of weaves through the downtown area, stopping at 30 different cultural, historical, architectural sites, and they're all marked by sculptures. We're excited to go walk around because we're going to kind of pop in and out of shops along the way and just kind of take our time doing it. Here we stand in the plaza near the art museum entrance. This is where lumbermen and philanthropists... Designed by Pei, who did the Louvre and who did the Ooh. Museum uh, East Gap. Yeah. 
You guys are honestly so amazing. We are shocked that you guys want to stick around and be on this journey with us to all 50 states this year. You truly mean the world to us. So if you have subscribed to our channel, like Natalie said, thank you so much. It means the world to us. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we hope you consider doing so. It helps out our channel more than you could possibly know. We put out a new video every Thursday, so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. You can also follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat. shopping centers I've ever seen. The architecture, they finished building in 1929, but it is stunning. Yeah, it was supposed to have a 14-story tower on top of it, but only the base got built because the visionary, Mr. Grove, passed away in two years prior to it being finished. store I grew up coming to this one when we come to Asheville we would come to this mass general and I would get candy because they have a whole candy section in the back y'all this is a game changer this right here it's only $46 I'm gonna nap um, we'll get postcards later Come here and get chocolate covered coffee beans and caramels and saltwater taffy. Yeah, all kinds of things. So we got postcards <laughs> and we always get so excited when they have a plethora to choose from mm -hmm. and we don't have to go to a gas station. <laughs> so we are so grateful to all these people down below. You guys are amazing patrons. We thank you so much. It helps us get equipment and things that we need to make these videos even better. So if you're interested in becoming a patron and supporting us on our journey to all 50 states this year, you can find the link to our Patreon page in the description down below. In other news, we also got some other amazing things from the Mass General Store. Cheer wine! We're in the Carolinas. You can't and come to the Carolinas wine. without cheer wine. It's like cherry coke, but better. Oh, it's so good. I don't understand why they don't sell it across the United States. Mm -hmm. so I grew good. up on this stuff. So let's pop some tops. Gosh, I love a good cheer wine. So we were gonna go to the farmer's market, but mm -hmm. we decided to take our little cheer wines and continue walking downtown yep. because Matt hasn't bought me anything. And we need to go to the <laughs> thrift stores. <laughs> if you haven't been to Asheville before, there are so many thrift shops and not just any thrift shops. There are so many awesome thrift shops really that good. are like, yeah, just done really well. So we're gonna go check out at least one of them that I know of and have been. Awesome. So we're gonna go check out at least one of them that I've been going to for a long time. It's called Ragtime and it is awesome. Let's go. This one's closed, but I mean, can you see me in that? That one looks good too. Yeah, it did. It's one of the top rated ones. Honey pot. Yep. Dang Bless. it. All right, well, we'll go to a bookstore then. Oh. <laughs> He's starting to cry again. <laughs> Urban Trail 
trail was a really cool and we forgot to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get to finish it all because no. we had some other things we were wanting to fit in this afternoon well i kept wanting to go in places like the yeah. arcade was really awesome i spent way too much time there well that's the cool part about the urban trail is that you can like we said you can hop in and out of shops or whatever along the way because it's just going through the downtown Asheville area check it out if you're in Asheville and you've never been it's a really cool way to explore downtown and now we're in the River Arts District we made a little pit stop to check out some of the murals and the graffiti but now we're gonna head to Wedge Brewing which is right here in the Arts District and we've heard great things We just finished up here and it was so good. We got to chill and just enjoy the afternoon. So now we're gonna go check out some scenic views. Yeah, I think we're gonna go drive a little bit of the Blue Ridge Parkway and see what we can find. So if you have never been to Asheville, you have to check out our summer cottage. <laughs> Some people call it the Biltmore. Y'all should know that I've heard that joke a million times. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of wealth that the Vanderbilts had to build the largest private residence in the United States, like it is massive and it's yep. just amazing. I mean, it, it's oh. mind-boggling to me because really I can't is. imagine. Yeah, so I mean, I can, but, you know, <laughs> I've got bills to pay. So if you're ever coming to Asheville and you've never had the pleasure of oh. doing the Biltmore, you really should. We didn't do it this time because we've done it in the past. And it's like an all-day thing. Yeah, and we only have one day here, yeah. and we wanted to kind of do some other things other than one experience. Yeah, so if you're here for a weekend, you have to check it out. It is not cheap to go. Nope. I think the lowest right now it was was $64, but if you've never done it, you need to do it. So that's gonna definitely be on the itinerary in the blog, so check out that link in the description. in the wilderness oh wow i didn't know you never seen one before out in the wild no i'm not from here <laughs> i'm from florida there's black bears down there i've seen gators yeah. a lot of gators but not a black bear especially a I'm, mama and her cub i've never seen one that cub was like <gasps> tiny so little. tiny and it climbed all the way down <laughs> can i get one so we're truly enjoying the Blue Ridge Parkway. And for those of you who may be wondering what the Blue Ridge Parkway is, it is a 469 mile long scenic byway that runs through Virginia and North Carolina. Matt starved me because I didn't get any lunch. 
So well, now. Did you see that breakfast I had? I wasn't even hungry. I know, but I am. Now I got to choose where we're going to eat dinner. Yeah. And it is number 14 out of 546 on TripAdvisor for local cuisine. Because we kind of pulled an audible a little bit because I not really feeling burgers and fries and like pub food what i'm feeling is some dim sum <laughs> so that's what we're doing we're going to red ginger dim sum and tapas <laughs> chilly here in Asheville so I was kind of upset that we got sat outside because I called and asked if there was dining but they have a heater so I'm okay. Matt and I are chowing down. It is nice because nobody else is on the patio. It's literally just us. All right so we just finished and it was so good it hit the spot. It was. We got two different kinds of dumplings a sushi roll and a noodle dish which was my favorite i think actually oh was it really i think so i mean the regular just the pot sticker dumplings were really really good yeah and the sauces they gave with them were good sushi was my favorite Bye. <laughs> the last ones to leave <laughs> so um, I think we should go yeah I think that's the they're the giving queue? us a cue <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Unfortunately, that ends our time here in Asheville, North Carolina, but we are traveling to all 50 states this year. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below. It helps our channel out so, so much. We're gonna be in state number 17 next week, which we are super excited about. A big hint is it's where this guy was born. That's right. So leave your guests down in the comments and the winner will get a big thumbs up or some confetti emojis. Huh, sounds good. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Can I get you up to be pretty big? Can I put that down? Can I put that down? Can I, that down? <laughs> Can I get a black bear? <laughs> also, we were gonna go get dessert at Krispy Kreme because it was invented in North Carolina. First one in Winston-Salem. We aren't in Winston-Salem, but we could have still gotten Krispy Kreme yeah. in North Carolina. It still counts. My hair is <laughs> <laughs> not working in my favor right now. It's been the story of my day. I'm over it. I'm gonna chop it off. State 17, I'm not gonna have any hair. Yeah, right. Dolly. No mask on your face, you a big disgrace. Spreading your germs all over the place. We will, <laughs> we will rock you. Won't he do it? Miracles happening everywhere. People leaving their canes behind because they don't even need them anymore. Most Mike. famously known for Zach Galifianakis and Nicholas Sparks. That's and how I know else? North Carolina. Mm -hmm.